I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on polygons. In this video, we'll learn how to work with inscribed polygons and their angles. Here's a very interesting question. A square is inscribed in a pentagon as shown in the figure. Find the sum of the angles A and B. That means you need to find the sum of these two angles. It's a multiple choice question with your four options. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now to begin with, let's work with this square. As you know, square will always have right angles inside, right? So the interior angles of a square are always right angles. So we know that. Now, how about a pentagon? Some of you may remember the angles. These angles are 108 degrees. Each angle is 108 degrees. Now, how do we find this? Well, the method to find the given angle is, I'm kind of extending this to uh, parts which uh, may not be really required for many of you, right? So if you know it's 108 degrees, you can skip this part. So a pentagon basically will have five triangles, correct? Now we're talking about regular pentagons. These are five triangles. So we have five triangles. That means the total of five times 180 degrees, correct? So that is the total angle, correct? Which is equal to zero. Eight times five is 44, 900 degrees. Now the central angle is always 360 degrees. So these vertices, we could take away that angle, right? So if you take away 360 from this, you get here 48, take away uh, 3 is 5. We get 540 as sum of all the five angles, right? So this is five vertices. Now each vertex, so at the vertex, will have 540 divided by 5. Okay? So that gives you the angle. 5 goes 1 times, 5, 0, and 808 degrees. Okay? So important to understand this part, that each angle for a pentagon interior angle is 108 degrees. Now, given all this, you need to answer this question. What is the sum of angle A and B? Okay. To solve this, let's look into uh, a point. Let's say this point of the square on the pentagon. Let's call this point as A. Now at this point, let's say the angle which it is making with the pentagon is, let's call this as X. Okay. And on the other side, that point vertex of the square, let's say it makes an angle Y. So we are now looking into the quadrilateral, which is, uh, which is this quadrilateral. So in this quadrilateral, we have X, Y and those two angles of the pentagon. Right? So that is one portion which we need to look into. So if you see that quadrilateral, you can say that X plus Y plus these two angles, which are 108 degrees, right? So which is two times 108 degrees is equal to sum of all the angles in a quadrilateral is 360, right? Is 360 degrees. So that gives you that X plus Y is 360 degrees minus two times 108, which is 216. So that is x plus y equals 2, right? So which you can calculate as taking away 6 from here, we get 4. And then we have 5. Uh, sorry, uh, 5 take away 1 is again 4. So that gives us 44 degrees is sum of x plus y. 44 degrees, right? So when you take away 5, take away 144 degrees, sum of x and y. We need to find sum of a and b. Now to get a and b, what we can do here is look into the point a and the straight line. 
The straight line forms an angle of a degrees plus 90 degrees and plus x degrees, correct? Straight line angle is 180 degrees. So from this we can get x in terms of a, so we can write x as equals to 180 minus 90 minus a, right, which is equals to 90 minus a. So that is the value of x. Similarly, we can work on the other side, let's say point B. Now at this side, sum of B plus 90 degrees plus Y is also equals to 180 degrees. So from here, we get Y is equals to 180 minus 90 minus B. So Y is equal to 90 minus B. Is that clear to you? So what we get here is a relation for X and Y in terms of... Uh, a and B and here we already have a relation relating X and Y with the number 144 right now so X plus Y is 144 so we can now add this up so we get what so when we add X and Y we get X plus Y is equal to adding 1990 we get 180 minus A plus B right x plus y is 144, so we'll replace this with 144, which is equal to 180 minus a plus b. So from here, taking a plus b to the left side, we get 180 minus 144, and that is equal to 36 degrees, correct? So the option b is the right option. Is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually solve such questions, right? So you could start with A, taking this as a straight line, sum of angle A, 90 and X is 180 degrees. Similarly, for the point B, sum of angles B, 90 and Y is also 180 degrees. So that relates X and Y with 90 minus A and 90 minus B. In the quadrilateral, we can say A, B, C, D. The sum of angles should be 360 degrees. So that is x plus y plus 2 times 108. Since the interior angles are 108 for a pentagon, we get our equation x plus y is 144. Now equating these two, we get our solution that a plus b should be equal to 36 degrees. Is that clear? So that is how we can actually solve this question. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.